Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome from a place tonight where you can see Johnny geared up, I'm geared up, and um, very low light. And no, don't even ask. We can't tell you where we're at. So I've just pulled my helmet off for now just to chat. Um, and really, we're not in a place tonight where we can do any videos, to be honest, and we can upload something or something. But it's it's kind of kind of a not, unique evening. Yeah, not the sort of place we'd do a live or anything like that. No, so. never. But um, we're leaving again very early in the morning. Tomorrow is a huge day. We've covered a lot of territory today. We've done a lot of unique things. But we were coming into where we were shutting it down for the night. And I received a message from one of your supporters. And the message was through buying me a coffee. They sent a little small donation. They said, I want to thank you as one of Johnny's community members for... You know, taking him to where you're taking him, but more importantly, you guys are showing us every day what it's really like, and this is even changing my perception of wanting to help Ukraine. So that's pretty cool. So that's thank amazing. you. Um, so tonight you um, are in a place where this has been the most dangerous place, of course. Um, so we are just mere kilometers away from where Russians are. We are within mortar range, technically. We're within drone range, certainly. And we're within artillery range, of course. And so... You are yeah. under two kilometers from Russian position. Yeah. Tonight. As close as it gets, really. Um, and you, when, when you put stuff like this on, body armor and helmet, it suddenly things get serious in your head. You know, it's not just... Whether, whether or not it's as dangerous as as it is, I don't know. But you put this on and you're like, right, we're serious ooh. now. You feel that? I did. Did There's you feel that? Oof. Okay. Did you feel the bully shake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's just, what that was. Just a, mm -hmm. So that was something going out or something coming in. I don't know. Um, Greg heard a couple of outgoings earlier. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Pierre I, did as well. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, this is this is serious stuff, and it was interesting going through the um, the town. But uh, there are no lights that you can see. Everyone's blacked out the windows. Uh, they're either they're either empty houses and and buildings, or they are blacked out really successfully. There are no street lights. Cars are driving. Uh, a couple of them here and there. We were driving without headlights. Mm -hmm. We had to park without headlights. We had to unpack just under a small red light. Mm -hmm. um, make our way into where we're staying under the, under a small light, red light that well, the uh, hostess was. When we, um, so no GPS works where we're at. So you guys that follow me, um, you know that Zhang and I, we run three GPSs. And one of those we run is offline maps. I just buy the whole kit and caboodle because I don't know where I'm going and even that gets messed up. But I, I lock in the position on the offline and we come and we get within 200 meters and then you saw me hop out of the car. So the reason I hop out of the car or the truck and I'm fully armored because where I hop that line of sight to Russian positions is there, but it's completely black, no lights. I'm walking like right along the tree line of the road on purpose. And of course you saw no people. And um, what I'm actually doing is I'm going ahead to find the particular gate that we need to come through where we're going to park our vehicle for security. And when I get to that gate, I don't turn the light on or nothing. I just hit, you know, when you guys, um, you go to make a phone call and your screen just lights up, that's it. There's no flashlight. There's nothing. So I just, and the gate even and then, like even then Jen, you're in the car. Cause I was still in the car mm -hmm. saying his light's too bright. And uh -huh. it's on a lower setting. Yeah. The lower he, setting. Even then it was like, Oh, his lights too, his, his lights too bright. I mean, that's how careful Genia has well, been. And, and, you know, we, we had an experience earlier um, where we were not where we are now. And we were getting, were you getting a cup of tea? Yes. Yes. He tea. was getting a spot of tea. And, and we are ready. Sorry, Johnny, that you had to see that. You know, can you at least hold it? <laughs> it's more funny. This is. I don't know what this is. 
Yeah, just it some, is, some toy. It is it's useful. It's 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 what we sleep with tonight, Johnny. One this of, this has got serious. The the, the anti gun man told him to come. So he, this is not a problem. But we were there. Johnny was getting a spot of tea, and um, what, what was interesting is this lady came up and started talking with us. And I, you know, I really appreciate you because I think you you have realized that where we where we where we've come to right now, there's no playing around. Not that we play around anywhere, but here, it's no playing around. And I appreciate Johnny because he understood enough that when this lady started talking to us, and even she was talking in English, um, Jenya and I immediately went on alert because of things she was saying and questions she was asking. For example, where would we be staying tonight? What are we doing? And it was like, Okay, those are the wrong questions. They're never asked. And immediately my defense systems went up and I was still kind and polite and, and of course never answered. I told her we were staying in different places and completely gave her the bamboozle. Um, but the reality is Johnny sensed it enough to go, okay, she's speaking English, but they're being very elusive. So I probably shouldn't be talking to her. And it's just like he knew. And so I really appreciate that of you, Johnny, because this one tonight's a little tight. Um, does this give you a different perception? L let me ask you this question. That weight that is on you right now, and by the way, you have the lightest plates. We, we, we bought you those plates for your trip here, and those are the lightest Makes you realize that imagine you're running around, you know, in the mud, um, crawling around, even, you know, wearing this stuff as, as part of your everyday kit to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, this is tough, isn't it? You Could know? you imagine? So we've got it cinched up, of course, and it, that's the way it's supposed to be. Could you imagine, like, another pack on your back and a gun over your shoulder so, and a med kit and you're running with your lungs expanding? I mean, think about all of those things that we don't think about. <clears throat> Greg and Pierre were helping me on with this earlier and it was in the dark. I've, like you all know, I've got primary progressive multiple sclerosis so my balance is very good. And they're like strapping it on then sort of hitting my front to, to like, you know, make sure it's make sure in place. Tight. And I was like, all that weight on me. I was like, so I just like falling back. The leaning That's tower of Pisa <laughs> leaned, but we got him, he got back up the I was like, Yeah, my body weight, I was trying to lose weight. And, <laughs> Turns out I failed. Um, Johnny, you getting, right. real, getting real for you now? I've been trying to lose weight. Sorry, sorry, jo sorry Johnny. Johnny is, that's, that's we're laughing just, but, just and, and having fun, but uh, we are we're in a dangerous place tonight. So we've got Johnny geared up, everything is ready, and um, we're going to get to the place we need to get to, get his, get his special hat on, and Do we'll I need all a helmet, be safe, and yeah, we'll be rolling in the dark. Oh, yeah, I um, I was, and I you'll was not, be, you guys will all be hearing about this later. Yeah, Johnny. I was not used to having weight on me, and he just slammed my chest because yes. it's dark, and I've got no frame of reference. With my right? MS, I just completely we, we fell backwards. We did practice there. putting on this helmet the other night. So beautiful. Yeah, but I'm gonna fail. Let's face it. Yeah. Can you feel the weight on you? Yeah. All right. So let me ask you a few questions here seriously now. Uh, what do you think? Think about soldiers out there running around trenches with that much weight on. Yeah. Is that it crazy? Is, it is not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy just to get you in the building. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling in, in Phil how to put this uh, helmet on and clip it on. It's unless. typical. Yeah. Cool. It's an area we don't trust very many people. I can't so. even... Anyway, Johnny's geared up. We'll all be safe, healthy. There we go. And uh, any other comments? This isn't the South Beach of England. This is not. This is the mm -hmm. uh, almost the south coast of Ukraine. But, yes, um, that's exactly it. It's it's eerie because it's quiet. Everywhere's dark. There are no street lights. So no, it's just you know, it's it's eerily quiet. No lights. We're going to be driving 
pretty much dark. We'll be driving to a place that we know is safe. It is safely positioned and we are going to have to be operating inside where we're staying with lights dimmed, you know, keeping super um, careful with, with, you know, we don't want to advertise ourselves as a collection of people in one place that could be interpreted as... Or foreigners as a, as, or yeah. cameras or anything. Everything's hidden. Yeah, so uh, we're just about to go dark. Yeah, so here you go, guys. This is really going to help Johnny understand um, even to a greater degree just the war in Ukraine and the experience we just had with the little granny there that's homeless. It's incredible. Absolutely. So we're making a difference. Thank all of you guys. Welcome to the war, Johnny. Mm. But yeah, no, it is, it is uh, substantial and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a challenge. And um, I don't know, I, you know, from all the experiences and tomorrow, Johnny, some of the places we're taking you, I mean, it's just going to be, revolutionary for your um it'll revolutionize your ability to tell the story like you do every day mm. um, and i think even tonight when we had to go complete blackout complete lack of normal comms we're worth i'm through vpn through a double router actually so connecting off something else so you know we're, we're good with that but like all of our normal stuff, it's off. There's no lights. You know, you're where you're staying tonight. And we told you, okay, um, only one light, put a towel over it, keep it dark, keep your curtains closed. And when it gets loud, which it will get loud, and it's already has, if you want to listen to it even more or maybe crack your window, that's fine. But make sure all your lights are off because it's just... I don't trust this place. I trust my team. I trust my security. I mean, is it pretty amazing? You know, just pretty simple to get you here, wasn't it? I mean, <coughs> what was what was quite interesting. One one other point of note is that we stopped off at a supermarket where we're, where we're mm. at, and um, and you wouldn't know it was there. And we drove past. It was right next to a, a petrol station, a gas station, and Greg and Jenny were like. There's a gas station. I was like, where? And like, it's open as well. It's like, what's open? I couldn't see it. You know, there's a couple of green lights, small green lights, I think probably on the pumps or something, mm -hmm. but none of the normal lights you see. And you can see that anything was open. And same in the supermarket. You wouldn't know it was there unless you knew it was there. And it was all boarded up. And when the, when the automatic doors opened, suddenly the bright lights from inside that one like entrance mm -hmm. you know, lit up. Wing. And it's a proper supermarket. And then it would close and you wouldn't know it's there. Quite incredible. Yeah. And, you know, one more little piece that's interesting. I came, when we were coming out, there was a lady there begging. And I think Jenya grabbed a little bit of video. And if he did, I'll, I'll, I'll attach it to this. But because um, there's no cameras allowed, guys, where we're at. I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of collaborators where we're at. And if you have a camera, you're just, you're just a target. That's why we do everything in the dark. We do not come here in the light. We'll leave in the light, of course, but we don't come in in the early evening. We will wait outside this area until it's completely black so we can move through with complete secrecy because we, I, I don't want anybody. We've, we've already had to deal with that before. But we were, we were coming out of this place just getting a few snacks. There's no restaurants. There's no lights. There's no people. It's, this is as close to a ghost town as you can get. Mm. Um, it's, it's very eerie. Um, and that's not Erie, Pennsylvania. It's E E R Y. It's very eerie. Um, e E R E E R E E I E. Well, I was just checking you. Yeah. Okay. You you failed. I no, passed. No, no, Did no, I pass? No. You passed. Okay. It was it was me checking you. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, my fault. By the way, I did correct your article last night. Ah, damn. How you many, mistake, how many mistakes were there? <clears throat> Four. Well, there are three typos. Oh yeah, three typos. And one will let's phrase that because he was something different than he was. That's right. So, my bad. You. Touche. Yeah. We're, we're quits now. We're no, equal. we're not quitting yet. No, we're quits, as in we're equal. Mm -hmm. Oh, like we're one equal. One for one. Oh, okay. One. Uh -huh. You're the dog's bollocks. Yeah. Got you. Ace. All right, listen here. I'm learning all this Brit stuff. Okay. Last little piece for tonight. We come out, and there's this little lady in the shadows. Like, literally, you 
could barely see her. Shrunken. And I'm going to do my best to describe this. I know Genio was able to snag a little video privately. I hope I can get it from him. I mean, I can get it from him if, if, he, if he's able to capture it. But, um, I, I mean, I don't know how best to do others and just say it straight. She stunk terribly. And she was begging. And she had a little cup. And I put some money in her cup. And when I did, she told me thank you. And she said, God bless you. And then I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do something here. So I started talking with her. And then Jania came back over. And then Johnny came back over. And I'm speaking to her in Russian. And I, I did this on purpose so that even Johnny could get some insight. Really an older lady. I mean, at least mid sixties mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. mid seventies. I mean, I'm not young, not, definitely not fifties or early sixties, and ragged, multiple layers of very, very dirty clothing on, stinking, and she was just begging some money to get some food, and I asked her. I, I was, working her a little bit. I said, well, okay, well, maybe we could bring you some food tomorrow. Um, do you have a mobile phone? And she goes, no, I don't, I don't have a mobile phone. I said, okay. I said, where do you live in the city? I will find you and I will bring you some food tomorrow. And then she looked at us and she said, I live in the streets. I do not have a home. And with the smell and all of that, I knew that she was 100% telling the truth. And then Zhenya's standing there, and I start talking to her in Russian, and I said, listen, um, where we're at right now, is this Russia or Ukraine? And she goes, this is absolutely Ukraine. I said, okay. I said, um, what about Crimea? Is that Russia or Ukraine? And she goes, it's Ukraine. I said, so are you like standing with our boys, Nashklopsi, our guys that are fighting for Ukraine, she goes, yes, until victory. I'm standing until victory. I said, okay. Lady, you're going with me inside that store, and I'm going to buy you food right now. So we go back in the store, and when we come into the doors, it's, giant, it's the same place where the doors open and the light comes out. She would only stand in the portal. And all the employees were looking at her like with disdain. And I walked in the door and I looked at them and I said, she, politely, I said, she's coming in and she's with me and I'm buying her food. And they said, no problem. But I had to coax her. Come on, come on. No, no, I can't. I said, come on, you're with me. She did. I went down the aisle. I said, would you like some meat? Yes, please. Bought her some, got her some meat. Would you like some cheese with that? Yes. How about some bread? Yes. I said, and you know what a good granny needs? Because I was calling her Baba. Baba. I said, you know what a good granny needs? You need some chocolate. Oh, <gasps> chocolate. I said, yes. And we went over and she picked out her own chocolate bar. Nice. And then we went over and got her a bottle of water and loaded her up. And we sent her along, along her way. And tonight, Johnny, while we have you in a dangerous place, but in mm. a secure place for lodging, mm. warm. Mm. She's out there in that street right now. Yeah. Say bye to Ukraine. So I met a wonderful, um, I met a wonderful new friend here in um, where we're at, and um, she, she's. We were talking. The, she's so happy that we're here to help and yeah. uh, for Ukraine. And she, I was asking her, you know, what's your opinions on this? And then as I, as I was talking to her, she, I, I, I asked her, okay, give me your mobile phone number and we'll help give you some food. Mm -hmm. And she said, I don't have a mobile phone. I said, okay, well, where's your address? I'll bring you some food. She goes, I live in the streets. I said, okay, that's enough. And we come into this little grocery store. She wouldn't even come in because she's a street person. So I walk in, all the guys turn their nose up at her in here, and I said, listen, mm -hmm. listen, we are, um, I, she's with me, and I'm buying her dinner. So tonight, she's got bread, cliff, 
Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Wood. We've got sear cheese, miasa, and vodichki. So, hey, pulse bowl, blagosli vas, e haroshi snow, e bon appetit. Dai bo vse. Dai bo, pulse bowl, blagosli vas, slava Ukraina. Slava. Da. And it's just, and she had the, faith. She said she had faith that Ukraine would um, like prevail and mm -hmm. also sort of sort things out type thing. Absolutely, exactly. she said something, she something did. along those lines. She goes, "We're going to fix it all. We're going to solve it all. Yeah. We're going to solve it all." Mm -hmm. And she had hope, and I mm -hmm. mean, she has nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think as we close out tonight, that's a great message for all of us. Mm -hmm. No matter you know, we talked about a lot of politics today. Mm -hmm. And we really do agree on a lot of stuff. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. If 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 the people of the world could have her attitude mm. and be in that situation, the world would not be in the situation it is right now. This lady, homeless, in a war zone, in a very dangerous place, has hope. Yeah. May we all also have hope. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Too true. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been quite an experience. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing me access to this experience. Um, tomorrow will be equally um, fascinating and rewarding, I hope, in many different ways. Um, but yeah, it's, this is this is another day in mm -hmm. the country of Ukraine. Eh? Another day in the country of Ukraine. Tomorrow, um, going to be epic. Every day is epic, and I do not mean that like epic as in you know the good the good way of epic. Mm -hmm. I mean it as an epic as in new discoveries, new understanding, and you're just gonna see things. I mean, I know where I'm at, and you know where you're at, but we know I know where we're going tomorrow, but you don't yet. And I'm just telling you, Johnny, your world's gonna get rocked tomorrow. So it's tough. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Appreciate Rick, Dr. Gerdes, all of these wonderful people that support all of these channels and we're all working together. Um, my slogan is the best is yet to come and I, I believe that. Good stuff. Yeah. Yep. yep. And so so do I. And goodness me, we're going to work hard to make sure the best is yet to come. Dag on the right. You want the first one or the second one tonight? The Slava or the Gero? Uh, Gero. Okay. Slava Ukraina. Get on Ukraina. Get and, on Slava. And we're going to do that again. That's going to be a take two. Oh my God. Johnny, you know, I should have let you fall up on that cliff above his zoom and not catch you. We're going to try this again. Take two. Are you ready? You know what? Let me, let me, let me match you now because it's right here. Let me match you. I won't buckle right now, but let me match you. Are you ready, buddy? Slava Ukraina. You're on Slava. Torchina. Johnny, you getting, right? real, getting real for you now? I've been trying to lose weight. Sorry, Johnny.